we had uh, you know a presidential nominee Donald Trump call us a high IQ individuals over the weekend and he said it's a marvel of a technology so obviously you know the industry rejoiced it right and it's not the first time as an industry we've We've been asking for regulations um, since 2017. The first time around, the debate around security versus utility tokens came up. But this is the first time a presidential candidate has put it on his agenda. And we've been hearing that right. uh, Kamala Harris is also putting okay. a team together Regulation. on it. Gensler caves in. We do ETFs. Paul's loaded the boat on this. He's got a 501k. But the bottom line is regulation to do what? Regulation to recognize it as a separate asset class. The way Coinbase is a U.S. publicly traded company, give other exchanges like Deribit, uh, you know, Binance U.S. a platform to, you know, do uh, regulated business, compliant business here Paul, in the U.S. Paul, jump in here because I got like 14 questions. Go why, on. Why, why hasn't that happened? Why? And I, I guess you guys, you being the industry, are looking at it as a, some form of legitimacy. Yeah. Why hasn't it happened? The reason it hasn't happened is because every now and then, you know, even the funds that are trying to trade these assets, we get a consult from our you know, law firms that SEC could deem this as a security, right? So if any token that's not like, let's say of top 10 right. person could get deemed as a security, we have to change our filings, okay. let right? Me, let me go back to basics here. If I bought this dog like Matt Miller at 50,000 and I unload it today at 69,000, do I report that to the IRS and do I pay a short or long term capital gain? It depends on when you bought it and depends on where you're buying it and depends uh, on how long you're planning on holding the gain on it. Is there a risk that the U.S., if it has a leadership position, is it at risk of losing it? Uh, it does have a uh, it does have a position in crypto because all the bitcoins uh, that have been seized over the years, and both Senator Cynthia Lumen, both President, uh, former President Trump have said, look, we'll continue building on this reserve and we'll hold it in the market instead of like selling it to the market, and this you know we'll treasure it like you know, as one of like our national assets. And he right. he went as far as saying that we'll bring mining minting all of the ecosystems you know to us like if you like if anyone has followed the space enough years ago it was china leading mining bitcoin and now it's it's kind of dispersed so for a presidential candidate to come as far right. in his narrative yes that you called an asset class you want it to be equity like but a separate digital asset we looked at a 10 year microsoft piece today three and a half percent yield you get a coupon you get your money back in 2035. we're going to get tech earnings this week everybody's going to go mental about free cash flow and all that where's the underlying cash flows of bitcoin or is it basically a gold equivalent it's going to be a gold equivalent but the main reason for us to put for push for legislation is like what happens when tokenized assets come into play right we're saying that you know take any piece of an asset tokenize it give everyone a chance to own it blackrock has been very active on this uh you know front like they, they built a fund called biddle they acquired you know they invested in a company that could tokenize funds tokenized you know private equity markets tokenized traditional assets, that's the long run we're looking for.